What's up my friends, I'm Daily Fix. we continue with the Terran Empire on the Grand Admiral where we are fighting the Nauseans and of course the Klingons have been intervening. And it's annoying. It is really annoying, I kind of hope that they will stop doing that because I hate it. I want to get all of this territory, I'm trying to snipe some planets away from them. Uh, they might not like that, but hey, we don't care about the Klingons, we'll have to make them our vessels. Uh, what we'll do, if when we create this as a vessel, I'm very sure that the Klingons uh, will declare war. And that's fine. It's fine. We will, um, what we will do is we'll do a show strength war, like we'll just destroy everything. I, I know we can do it. And it will create massive internal problems for them. Uh, but it's not our problem. <clears throat> So, where are you heading? Where's my fleet heading? So, on towards the regular system, which is okay. They had a Klingon, look at this. That, that's, that's all I'm seeing here. So, it's a whopping 3k. Yeah, that's nothing. That is that's nothing. We're saving up on alloys. And slowly, slowly, we're getting to the point where we can actually say, you know what, do. Um, Genesis. Genesis, good night, my friend. Uh, and let us know when you stream again, of course, because I do want to see you restart. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, if you focus fleet, then that will help. Uh, good night. So this fight is going on. How are you doing? Are you still fighting? No. Go here and assault the station. Let's make sure that we get everything under control here. Uh, we have to wait until these, um, uh, these two are done. What I wonder is, will the Klingons, will they land troops on planets that I've taken. I kind of hope they won't, but I of course cannot be certain. Bird of Prey Fleet 5? You know, they, 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 they pro let's, let's take a look here. Let's, uh, let's pause it for a second. Bird of Prey Fleet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they look nice. They look really nice. So you're fighting now. That's why we get this message. Negative 48. My fleet is heading over there, which is precisely what I wanted. Because we do need to start taking the planets over there. And there is a planet in here. Didn't we take that? Yeah, but we still... They need to get out of this wall. The Klingons need to get out of this wall. I don't think I'll get this system. Because I just don't have the station. Which is bloody annoying. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We already have this. <clears throat> Sorry for that. So, um, I've been doing a lot of sanding lately. And of course that usually don't end up being too good for the voice and yesterday we were uh, painting the living room and the kitchen and we got this um oh definitely man i i, I got muscle sores in my hand so hand sanding yes hand sanding yes uh, we did get us a, a nice sanding machine but i was actually staring through the drywall uh, so that's bad <laughs> uh, we did get a, a painting machine though which good Let's see, these are Norsian tribe fleet. So I would say this planet is ready. Yes, it is ready. How about the other one? Are you ready as well? You're almost ready. So after we get Norsia, so this one is not ours. Uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's at least say you cannot go through that system. Why? Why do you insist? Thank you. Battle <laughs> Thank you for not doing it. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, we were using... 180? And it's actually not too much. But I, I guess that it, it just didn't need much sending at all. Let's see. The Sight of Triumph. Ooh, we would get more unity. Yeah, we did switch out. But the machine was just too heavy for us. So, here is the upgradation for the field hospital. 
And we don't have Courtesan. I don't think we have that. Let's see. No, we're still making zero. So I'm not taking this because the AI will go insane. Let's just get the side of Triumph because I do feel triumphant. And we'll be finishing Strength first before we do anything else. And there is actually going to be a fight on this planet. And it's a fight that we will win. Now I'm hoping because my admirals do seem to die quite a lot. And that's bad. That is bad. So steadies have been increased. Let's go for the new <clears throat> star base. It's a good thing that I'm uh, ending the stream after this one. So 15 minutes. Because damn my voice. Yes our warriors are victorious. And what does this do for you? Negative 22. Okay let's start sending you over here. Lando strips. This shouldn't be taking too long. Peace offer between the Klingons. Oh, oh they took, they gave everything back. Yes. <clears throat> Precisely what I wanted. Of course. Uh, oh, no, actually, they took a few planets. So let's go ahead and finish this war up. And that should all finish that. And we can actually start preparing more That's to fight the Klingons. Because that is um, the first four. Well, what mods are these? Star Trek New Horizons. Um, it's a total conversion mod pack for Stellaris. Total conversion. So we are fighting now in the mirror image as the Terran Empire with 1200 plus uh, um, systems. You can also just fight as the uh, United Earth. Try to form the Federation. And have a lot of lore going in with that. Unfortunately, there are a few bugs that they need to resolve. So, that, this, this mod is absolutely superb. I like it. So, with the rebellion put down, it is feared that the alien slaves of the Terran Empire will rise up again and attempt to overthrow their Terran masters. The Empress has decided, has decreed, that in order to create a stronger empire, a stifle and future descent... Don't even know what the hell that means. Uh, the elevation of status of one of the leading races in the former rebellion would be effective. The race that is picked or to be freed will enjoy most equal rights with the Terrans and will be allowed to command starship, lead armies and hold public office. However, the throne would still be limited to Terrans only and will keep... Okay, so, that's, so let's take a look. Now, usually you have more in, than enough Vulcans. Let's take a look. Species. So, the Vulcans, the Endorians, and the Enmar. Population growth speed is low. I hate that. I hate slow growth speed. The Tellarites, they do good engineering, housing usage, and amenities from jobs. Hmm. Or the Vulcans, which are, of course, intelligent and are just amazing they have a different uh, yeah actually the, i would go for the vulcans uh, we're going for the vulcans even though i may be hating them so will this go automatically terrans and i do not know that the chase is still going on will this go automatically or do i need to do this myself Okay, it doesn't appear that there are changes. So, a set rights to full uh, citizens. And uh, we're going for the same economical standards. Military service, full military service. Colonization right is allowed. Controlled and no migration control. There we go. The Vulcans are now part of our own species. Uh, so, that does change a few things. Uh, we'll uh, we'll get some more pops. We'll probably see a big ass boost. Why did no one tell me I had so much influence? <laughs> because there's little I can do with it. Uh, we could start claiming I stuff, but I want to vassalize them. Hmm. Well, we could go to relics. I can only take one. That's a bloody shame. Not sure what to do with all of the uh, the research there. That means that we could grow... Let's take a look here. We could send off more Vulcans.
Yeah, look at this. So, we will resettle a few. From Vulcan. Where more? A Pajem, most likely. Okay, I want you to start filling the other jobs first, though. Here we go. Let's increase that. So we have a bunch of tasks that we can do now. We have the um, the regional capital. We could upgrade this, but I don't really see a point in doing so. Other than... Um, let's see. Housing is a bit on the low side. We do need to increase that. And I... We need to take a look here. We could actually do with a Monument of Triumph... Or the Trade Center. Are oh, there decisions that we can do? Not right now. Let's do a Monument of Triumph. Even though it is just two jobs. Uh, from Pajem and Vulcan. We will start to redistribute our peoples. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Pajem. Let's get a farmer over there. He's now unemployed. That will change. Uh, we could actually get one over here. Uh, do we need to? We need to send a bunch of them over there. Where do we have the most unemployment? That's over here. So we got two unemployment. So let's resettle you. With Vulcan. Let's decline this. And let's go... Clerk. Clerk. One and two. Valorous. Now uh, we actually have no jobs for you to do. Okay, so we definitely... We need research first. Let's do research. That will help. So factions have of course been founded. Of course we will never let them in. Never let them go. Uh, we would probably get a lot more alloys. At least that is what I'm hoping. Fleet combat. Yeah, no, it's not really combat. We have already taken so much and you will be a glorious, glorious vassal of mine. The Klingon fleet is still present there in that system. Bird of plate. You, come on, you're not even at war, mate. So, we could actually start sending you off and do other things again. And we'll uh, use the fleet to um, take these final two systems. And uh, negative 13, so we're almost, almost going to be taking them. Which is good. So for those of you watching, if, you, uh, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to follow. I would really appreciate it. And for those of you watching this in the, on YouTube, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's see. Commercial districts. Maybe. Maybe. Sensor range. Sensor range is really good. Let's take sensor range. Uh, we're low on supplies. We are increasing the amount of alloys. Um, oh, so it did go... They have nearly the same rights as Terran providing them. The rise of the Vulcans. Long live the Emperor. So it does, it does change the living standards back to decent. Even though I've changed that... That's ah, fine. Let's just let the, the game do whatever it does do. Let's take a look here. If we have the... Let's see. Living standard is decent. So... It's weird that we did do them Starfall. And now they're just decent. Full military service. And the rest of them is all allowed. So with every rebellion... Would we be... Um, seeing differences. Changes. I'm glad to see the Vulcans rise to power. I'm glad to see the Vulcans rise to power. Because I, I needed I needed a lot more. This war has ended and we have ourselves a um, a vessel. Factions have been founded. You talk, the Nausean. You talk. Let's improve you the relations. No they are currently disloyal, which I don't like. So, we could actually start forming a lot of them. Commercial pacts and stuff like that. 
Just as long as you bend the knee, I'm, I'm cool with it. The war has ended. The victory of this war. And they are still equivalent. So we did well. We did very well. So you can go back home to wherever it is that you crawled from. Let's just send you towards the soul system. And same for you. Just go back. At least we did not get more planets, which I'm very happy about. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's demand vassalization from the uh, from our neighbors. And we'll do the same thing with you. Demand vassalization. They will, of course, uh, not go for it. And this will create us more causes belly against these other empires. <clears throat> Mirab, his sails firm. Yeah, we might demand vassalization on them as well. Let's take a look here. Uh, increased unity output. Population enmity usage. Ship upkeep. I like the unity idea because we're actually making... Not too much from... So yeah, that's a bit of a thing. Man, we got ourselves a vessel, that's cool. I really like that. Yeah, of course they they refuse. I will we'll, uh, we'll have to go do more wars uh, after, of course, we uh, upgrade our fleets. Uh, we have another fleet in here. Let's go ahead and let's uh, group them up with the others. Let's see. We actually wait. Did we lose? No, we didn't. Wow! I was like, did we lose so many ships? No, we didn't. Okay, 33. What's your problem? Yeah, they're starting to fit. Why? Why is this? Come on, man. There's just one. We need a lot more alloys. I've never lost... Uh, we never lost all of our ships unless I'm... Okay. Devouring Swarm. Yes. Do we have specialized buildings here? Well, actually, the economy is, is rather well. The economy is doing actually amazingly well. Uh, which, for me, is... Um, wait, we don't have a regional capital? Let's build the regional capital first. Yeah, that's the first thing that we're going to be building. We're going to be boosting up the research. I did this with my uh, Federation run, and... Oh, boy. Uh, at some point, 7k research. Yeah, you will uh, out-tag the Borg. So we've got the site of Triumph. Uh, we'll go for the uh, the major capital. We do have to upgrade all of those, actually. Let's take a look if we have some places where we can actually upgrade the uh, main building. And we should colonize more planets. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. This one's close. And uh, we can now use the, the, the Terrans and the Klingons... Uh, the Klingons, the Vulcans. Damn you, Klingon. No. Okay, let's do you. How about you? Colonizing you with... Uh, definitely not the Vulcans. Okay, we're lacking some uh, supplies here. Let's do this. Uh, we'll go on a colonization spray because I am just not patient. Yeah, just do it, whatever. Nobody actually cares about that. Uh, Vulcans, yes. Okay, we need more alloys. There we go. And one more planet to go. And there we go. So that's, uh, that's I think, all of the planets. I think. It's usually when things go wrong. The moment I start using that... Uh, Upper chamber of mine. Uh, okay, there we go. Dianthrum is already at max. A new planetary base. Oh, wow. She's really happy about that. I didn't even know we were building a planetary base. Oh, of course she has a planetary base. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see. This scientist is not doing anything. Why is that? You're researching that.
What the hell is this? Primitive star base? Wait, this is mine. So we could just destroy this, right? Just ban the bloody star base. Why the hell do I want the star base like that? Go away. Let's see, all of that is done, that is done. That is done. There are... No, it's just outside of my... Uh, outside of my borders. Okay, so there's little... We can do research, so let's... Um, let's just help research a bit. Assisting the research. Let him go. I'm playing the story every game, so I will uh, see if I No problems, mate. No problems. It is uh, it is late in the States, and I know you're in the States. So no problems there. You are, us. You are still yes. disloyal, and I really don't like that. But we will, we will be building up. What can we do? Hmm... Yeah, it will just um, take some time. Now, as long as he's uh, pathetic and fleet pile, he will not do anything. And I don't think the Klingons would dare to attack. If they do... <laughs> oh, yes. I would welcome that. I would welcome that quite a bit. What kind of other... E now, we don't have other edicts. That's just sad. That is just sad. Now, I don't want too much territory because I think it is uh, still a nightmare to control. I kind of wish that uh, things were a bit different. Are you now at full strength? No. Let's see if we can actually get some more. Uh, we could probably just sell 500 of you. 500 of you. Well, buy a bunch of those. That's uh, just 500. There we go. Buy a bunch more. Research that. First things first. F fleet full strength. And now upgrade. Fleet is being upgrade. uh, upgraded. Sorry. We cannot upgrade this one. And five ships upgraded will just cost us... That's weird. Just cost us crew. Why not? Why not? I'll do it. Cause us belly subjugation has been... Uh, it's, it's been a year already? <laughs> ah, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, can we... Is it true? Yes, it is true. The Nausean tribe would help us. I kind of want to get the Nauseans on a state of being loyal. Uh, could we make them a trade deal? Let's offer you a trade deal. Uh, I will get some favors. And you will get a bunch of alloys. I want to get more favors. No. Just one favor. No favor. Zero favors. Oh, forget it. It's fine. I'll make it good for you. There you go. 2,000. Boost up your economy. Energy. There you go. Give no, you, you love me. Chance. Love me. Give you a bigger stick. Yes. You're just disloyal now. They're almost out of the disloyal trade. I think that's good. I, I think they will um, they will use it to the best of their abilities. Terrellium Hull. Wow. That, that, that's long. That Wow. That really is... Uh, used to be able... When I click this... Ooh. Wow, the uh, signs. Some of these are very, very low. Let's take a look here. Three months. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, what's your problem? A Terran is unemployed. It is not how it should be. Anything cool here? Other than what we usually do. We definitely need to focus a bit of our efforts to the civilian industries. And focus more on alloys so we can actually start with the Duralium Forges. Can, did we get the uh, the science to upgrade to the Starbase? Yes. How much of those plates do we have? 1.2k. Cool. Let's upgrade you. Let's take a look at the Starbase. Orion Shipyard. No. No, 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 no. So, 7 and number 8. So, let's take you. Let's take your name. Copy. Let me get rid of this one. Seven. Should we just keep the Orion station? Because we... No. 
No, nobody cares about that name at all. The Empire is the Empire. And it is all that it should be. Number 8. Apparently there is a building that we can do. And we will. Let's upgrade you as well. You. You. Yeah, upgradation spray for the uh, star bases. There we go. So the Darillion plates is really important that you keep that up. Uh, especially because eventually you will have to pay like 1200 for the upgradation of your star base, which is insanely high. Insanely high. Oh, wow. A lot done. A lot done this, uh, this stream, guys. Let's get uh, fighter hangers because I love those for defense. Uh, what we did is we took the Orions, we uh, we took the Nauseans, and next stream, which will be Monday, I um, I will be going to war with the Sorens as well as the the other coalition before they actually start a coalition. I rather have them uh, stopped at their tracks before anything else happens. I am looking forward to see what kind of law things that will happen for these guys, and eventually we'll have to. Um, Make sure the Klingons bend the knee. Most likely we will have to go with a demilitarization. If it's possible. We need one claim on the system. In order for us to, I think, do it. Humiliate would also be funny. Our allies have one claim. Trying to conquer. Okay, so... Our allies would like to get that back maybe our allies will start a war we'll see we'll see how things will go anyways guys for those who've been lurking here thank you so much for being here for those who've been chatting here i really appreciate you being here for those of you watching on youtube thank you and i'll see you next time have a good day and i'll see you next time guys bye bye